Howdy howdy legends, Zephyr here. The team at Pro Guides works really hard to provide you with unique and interesting content to take your game to the next level. They beefer away to find the latest tips, tricks, and useful information. However, what about the information that literally makes no difference to you whatsoever? Well, here it is. Useless facts about every Apex legend. But first, our question of the day. What is more useless in Apex? Trying to listen for footsteps or trying to use a Phoenix kit when every team has a Seer? Let us know in the comments section below. Ash. Ash is actually an expert in the Apex Legends meta. She astutely observes that Mirage's decoys are pitiful, which makes her knowledge at least around a Gold Force standard. Pretty impressive for a robot. Bangalore. Bangalore relates to most Apex Legends players on a spiritual level, as she really, really hates iron sights. Clearly, Bangalore does not have the pay to win battle pass flatline skin, which makes her hatred of iron sights very understandable. Do you need help advancing to the next level in Apex? Tired of being stuck in the lower ranks? Pro Guides has expert Apex Predator coaches on deck to advance your gameplay. They can help spot flaws, give you detailed knowledge, and direct you on how to best spend your time to take your Apex ability to the next level. Pro Guides is your one-stop shop for all things Apex Legends, as well as high-quality coaches that are in-game tips, tricks, and guides suitable for any level of player. So, whatever your gameplay needs, we've got you covered. Why not sit down with an Apex Predator and get their input on your gameplay? You'll be climbing the ranks in no time. Check out the link in the description and let's go! We promise, all our coaches will teach you something more useful than the facts in this video. Bloodhound. Ever wondered if you were taller than Bloodhound? Well, they're six foot one, which means that they are an above average height in the United States. Caustic. Ever wondered why Caustic's gas deals damage to Pathfinder, Ash, and Revenant even though they're robots? Probably not, as it's just a game. But the actual reason for that is because the Nox gas is a corrosive that destroys fabrics, flesh, doors, and metals. This basically destroys everything unless countered by a chemical compound that only Caustic possesses, which is why he is not affected by his own gas. Crypto. Crypto's voice actor Johnny Young is an active streamer on Twitch where he's known to do custom voice lines after the character he plays. He has filled in for scrims with pro players before. It'd be pretty confusing to have him play Crypto. Fuse. Fuse is an actual certified badass. When his arm was blown off by Mad Maggie, the Mad literally just looked at his decapitated arm, made a joke about it, and walked away. When I stubbed my toe the other day, I limped for the whole afternoon. I guess we're just built differently. Gibraltar. According to the NHS, Gibraltar's actually very seriously overweight. He weighs 132 kilograms and is 6 feet 6 inches. So, when you next get finished by a Gibraltar with that sitting on you animation, just know that a clinically obese ton of bricks is falling on top of you. Honestly, Gibraltar should be able to squish people from above, like Super Mario. Horizon. One of Horizon's skin is called Anya's Armor, which was actually named after the cat of Horizon's voice actor, Ella Newlands. Ella's cat was 20 years old, which is incredible for a cat, and Respawn decided to honor Anya with a skin in the game. Lifeline. Lifeline is responsible for caring for Octane after his gauntlet run. She saved him after he blew his legs off, giving him the robot legs that we know him for. Technically, this means that every time your Octane teammate stims away and dies alone, it's actually Lifeline's fault. Loba. Loba's heels are six inches tall. To some of you, that might be a really large number, and to others, six inches might not be that big at all. Loba wears her heels all through the games, never taking them off. Mad Maggie. Maggie's in the Apex Games as a prisoner of the Syndicate, serving her life sentence, fighting to the death after sabotaging Fuse's entrance into the games. During that time, she broke Apex history as she united the casual and pro player base in a shared hatred of her voice lines. She took over the announcer role in the games, and it was genuinely a painful experience for all involved. Mirage. Mirage has three abilities in Apex Legends. His tactical is called Psych Out where he sends a holographic decoy out to confuse the enemy. The decoy replicates Mirage and has 45 HP. Uh, the pass is called Now You See Me, where Mirage goes invisible for five seconds. When down, he goes invisible and reviving. He uses Respawn Beacon. His ultimate's called The Life of the Party, where it deploys a team of controllable decoys to distract enemies. Yeah, you get the picture. 
Newcastle. Newcastle is the only legend with a finisher that is exclusively used against a particular legend, that being Bangle. This also makes Newcastle the only legend with two default finishers. This unique finisher is there because Newcastle is the brother of Bangalore, if you didn't know already. Octane. Octane is the most fan-led legend ever. Not only was his whole legend concept based on a Titanfall speedrunner, but his jump pad was changed thanks to feedback from the community. His pad only used to jump you into a high arc, but the idea for further slide jumps came from members of the Apex community and was implemented by the devs. Pathfinder Pathfinder has the most useless passive in the whole game. He used to be the only legend that could scan beacons, and this was his passive. However, this ability was given to all recon legends, and his passive has never truly been replaced. Many Apex Legend players remember that he was supposed to get a new passive, but this has never materialized. Rampart Big Mod on World's Edge is actually Rampart's gun shop. She manufactures weapons. The Rampage carries the Rampart logo because it's one such weapon that she's created. This love of crafting is the reason why her heirloom is a wrench. Maybe not the coolest heirloom in existence, but at least it makes sense. Revenant in a rare animation, Revenant will do a series of hand signs while summoning the Death Totem. The five signs are hand signs from the manga series Naruto, specifically that of Tiger, Snake, Dog, Dragon, and then the Clap Hands. The hand signs for summoning impure world reincarnation. If you're one of the seven Revenant mains in Apex, let us know if you've ever seen them. Seer Seer is actually inspired by a common insect, the Moth. His first lore chapters were called The Moth and the Flame Parts 1, 2, and 3. Luckily, Seer does not blindly run towards bright lights and repeatedly smashes against them. Instead, he just wall hacks you and cancels all your heals instead. Isn't that better? Valkyrie Valkyrie has a unique interaction with Rampart. In voice lines, when Valkyrie revives or respawns Rampart, she profusely begs Rampart to change the name of Sheila due to it being the name of her ex-girlfriend. How about this? I help you, you drop the name Sheila. Deal? You can have that name when you pry it from my cold, dead teeth. Ugh, you're the worst. We know nothing about Sheila or why her and Valkyrie broke up. One can only assume she kept Valk alting away from her without giving her the time to attach, which is the number one most heartbreaking experience in the world. Vantage. For some reason, Vantage is really into music. It's not been confirmed in the lore if she's an Apple Music or Spotify subscriber, but she does talk to Lifeline about hearing her play music. Perhaps if Vantage is listening to music, she might go two minutes without repeating an annoying voice line. Watson Watson created the zone that surrounds you as any Apex game goes on. This means that if a Watson ever dies to zone, they're literally suffering at the hands of their own creation. Also, Watson can only place 20 Nessies at one time, which absolutely needs increasing to 30. Wraith There was a time when Wraith was almost invincible. Her marble goddess skin released with a broken hitbox which was nowhere near the size of her player model. This meant that Wraith was almost impossible to kill. Before this bug was discovered and publicized, this must have been one of the most annoying and confusing things to ever happen in Apex history. Congratulations! You're now very well educated in a vast selection of completely pointless, useless, and all around irrelevant facts about Apex Legends. We certainly hope that you'll sleep much better at night now that you are the bearer of such crucial and critical information. Thanks for joining us on this transformational journey of knowledge. Until next time!